hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button in today's video i'll be unboxing the yoni lab box for the month of october which was curated by vanity val and i just want to say congrats to you girl you did your thing because i love this box so let's get into the unboxing the first thing we have here is some nail charms there are some spider nail charms and also some of the skeleton hands and the skulls as well which is really cool and there's different color rhinestones in them then i also got a rhinestone glue as well i've been using the um mccart rhinestone glue in the tube for a while now and i really like that one so i'm guessing this one is really good too so i wanted to open the rhinestone glue for y'all to see and as y'all can see it came sealed so it's going to be protected during um transit and the rhinestone glue is really thick so i'm just i just wanted to show you guys the rhinestone glue that i had previously just want to make a comparison nothing to it <laughs> next i got a variety of different nail sequence pieces um in the color purple which is really pretty And I also got some metallic black rhinestones as well. So moving on, I got a gel polish and a disco liner gel. So the disco liner gel is called Watermelon Hype, which is this really pretty pink liner gel. And then we have the black gel polish. Um, I also got two poly gels. The pink one is called Rose and the Disco poly gel is called Hangover Juice and both of them are really pretty so I'm just going to be swatching them for y'all to see how pretty they are. Next, I'm going to be swatching the black gel polish for y'all to see. And this black gel polish reached full opacity on the third layer. So I did three layers of the black gel polish on camera for y'all to see. It actually reached opacity on the second layer, but I think the third layer made it reach to its full opacity. It, you could have gotten away with using just two layers, but I think the third layer was needed in my opinion. So this is how it looks after three layers. Now I'm just going to be swatching the disco liner gel on top of the swatch right there just for y'all to see because I do have a video where I swatch all of the disco liner gels because this disco liner gel comes in a collection of about 10. So if y'all would like to see that video, I'll link it in the cards. So this is the poly gels, gel polish and liner gel together after curing. Now moving on, I already applied my peel off base coat and my nail tips off camera. I'm using the McCart stiletto nail tips today. Now I'm just using my sanding band to remove the shine from all of the nail tip and this is necessary so that the poly gel can adhere to the nails. Now I'm just applying sunscreen to my hands and this is necessary if your hand is going to be in a lamp often.
Next, I'm using base coat on the nails and I cured for 30 seconds. So I'm using rubbing alcohol as my slip solution. Now starting on the index nail, I'm using hangover juice. So I placed a bead on the index nail and I'm just making sure that it is applied neatly around the cuticle area first. And then I distribute it um, on the whole nail. And I also make sure to maintain the shape of the stiletto nail so that I don't have a lot of filing to do. As I was saying before, this subbox was curated by Vanity Val and the subbox is called Valoween, which is a play on the word Val, which is her name and Halloween, obviously. <laughs> so yes, this subbox was curated by her. And she is a nail YouTuber and she does really good work. I have been watching some of her videos as of recently and she mainly focuses on press on nails but she does a lot of polygel nails as well. So if you all are interested in this sub box, I highly recommend it. There is a lot of variations of the sub box. As you all know, McCart has done some restructuring in how sub boxes are chosen. So there are a lot of variations in the sub boxes so y'all will get what y'all want and not what they have so if y'all do a quiz y'all will be able to let them know what y'all want so that y'all will be able to get that and also the sub box is only $35 so I highly suggest it because you get items that are worth $60 to $100 just for $35 and y'all can cancel at any time y'all choose to so yeah I highly recommend it so I cured that for 30 seconds and then I did another layer on the index layer because the first layer was way too thin. I needed to build my apex a bit more. So I did that and cured again for 30 seconds. Now on to the pinky nail, I'm doing the same thing but I didn't show myself doing the second layer. I didn't even think I show myself doing most of the first layer. So anyway, now moving on to the ring nail, I'm using the rose poly gel which is this beautiful pink poly gel. So I applied a bead to the ring nail and I'm just making sure to evenly distribute that on the ring nail. Initially, I was going to attempt the one bead method. That's why I applied some of the poly gel and it ended up on the nail bed area, but I decided not to. So for this nail, I'm doing the two bead method. On the index and pinky nail, I tried to do the one bead method, but I didn't apply enough of the poly gel. So it ended up, it ended up being a two bead method. But for this nail, I intentionally wanted to do the two bead method. So I applied the bead of the poly gel to the tip area only and made sure to evenly distribute that on the tip area only and wherever um, it touched the um, nail bed area I made sure to fade it out or fan it out at the tip area so it's not like it doesn't have a harsh line although it wouldn't show if I left it I just wanted to fade that out at the nail bed area and when I was satisfied I cured for 30 seconds but I made sure before I cured I made sure that the poly gel was neatly applied and it had a neat surface and all these things and then I cured for 30 seconds. Next on the second layer I applied the bead to the nail bed area 
and made sure to go around the cuticle area to neatly apply the um, polygel around the cuticle area first and this also helps to to create my apex as well by applying this um, second layer close to the nail bed area so I just neatly apply the cuticle oh, I just neatly apply the polygel around the cuticle area and you know I'm doing my thing right here and when I'm satisfied I faded this polygel into the um, first layer of polygel and then I cured for 30 seconds then moving on to the thumbnail i'm doing the same thing so this thumbnail set was really fun to do it was a lot of work but it's really fun to do especially when you think about the nail art nail art takes up a lot of time so that was basically what made it so much work because of the nail art although the nail art seems to be very easy it takes up a lot of time so that's why it was a lot of work but I really enjoyed doing the nail art and I think this nail set looked really good and I really loved all of the items I got in the sub box. I did the unboxing um, like about three or four days before I did the nail set and at first I did not know what I wanted to do with these poly gels and gel polishes. I didn't even think they matched up perfectly at first because I was thinking how could I incorporate all of these things they do not match you know but I wasn't thinking clearly because clearly they match and they look really good so let me know what you guys think about this new set in the comments below and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thanks to everyone who have been watching my videos it really helps when you do those things so thanks a lot then i cured for 30 seconds so this is how the nails are looking now i'm using a siesta which is a nude poly gel from a cart and this poly gel did not come in the kit so i am just applying a bead to the nail bed area of the middle nail and i am going to be doing a french nail so i'm just going to be forming the french smile line right here with the nude poly gel then i cured for 30 seconds next i applied another bead to the middle nail i just want to build this area right here it's better if the nail is too thick as compared to it being too thin so i'm just building the smile line right here
then I cured again for 30 seconds. Now I'm just using rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer from all of the nails. And then I filed the nails off camera. So this is after filing of the nails. Now I'm just using some more rubbing alcohol just to remove the dust from the middle nail. Then I'm going to be using the pink poly gel on the nail but I'm not putting the pink poly gel on the whole nail. Just a little bit of the area right there I'm putting the pink poly gel. I'm going to be doing a color block nail. So it's a color block French nail so I applied a bead of the pink poly gel just a, a section of the nail and I'm just patting that and making sure to distribute it where I want it and yeah that's what I'm doing right there So I was just using the spatula side of the poly gel brush right there just to um, make a straighter line because the brush wasn't doing what it was supposed to do so the spatula side of the poly gel brush was doing it a lot better. Then I cured for 30 seconds. Then I'm applying another layer of the pink poly gel to that area to make the nail a little thicker because I'm not going to be encapsulating this nail so it needs to it needs to have some thickness so I apply the bead of the pink poly gel and I distribute it on top of the first layer and cure it for 30 seconds. Next I'm using the gold poly gel as well and I also do a color block with this gold poly gel. I did two layers of this gold poly gel but I only showed myself doing one layer. So I cured that for 30 seconds and this is after two layers was applied. Now moving on I apply the pink poly gel again to the tip area of the nail and I only did one layer of this. So I cured that for 30 seconds and this is how it looks. Now I'm using rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer and I filed this off camera. So this is after filing. I think I need to work on um, shaping of stiletto nails because I think the tip area could be a lot more pointy. I think it's not pointy enough but anyway moving on to the ring nail I'm using my Madame Glam matte top coat so I applied a layer of the matte top coat and then I cured for 30 seconds. Now I'm using my McCart gel polish so I placed some onto my nail palette and I'm going to be doing some drip nails so I'm using my dotting tool to apply three dots to the ring nail. And then I proceed to do my drip nails. So I'll let you guys watch and I'll be back shortly.
so i cured that for 30 seconds and i also did the same for my thumbnail off camera now i'm just going to be applying some shiny top coat to the middle and index nail and then I cured for 30 seconds now I'm going to be outlining the French smile line with the black gel polish Then I cured for 30 seconds. So I'm going to be using my pink disco liner gel and I'm placing some more color blocks on the middle nail. So I cured that for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be outlining all of the color blocks on the middle nail and when I'm finished I cured for 30 seconds. So this is how it's looking after I outlined the color blocks and now I'm just going to be um, drawing some of the stitches on the middle nail as well. And then I cured for 30 seconds. Now on the ring nail, I'm going to be using the pink disco liner gel on the drip nail. I did two layers, but I only showed one layer and I cured each time for 30 seconds.
so this is how it looks after two layers now moving on i'm going to be using these black rhinestones and also i'll be using my macart rhinestone glue So I'm not going to be wasting any of the rhinestone glue so whatever was left on the foil I'm just placing it on my nail. So I placed some of the rhinestone glue on my index and a pinky nail. And then I'm using some gel top coat. And before curing, I placed some of the black rhinestones on the nails. Then I top coated the middle nail and cured for 30 seconds. Now I'm placing some of my shiny top coat on my nail palette. Next I am top coating the ring nail with my Madame Glam matte top coat. And before curing I am placing some of the black rhinestones on the ring nail. Then I cured for 30 seconds. I did the same for the thumbnail. Now using the shiny top coat that I placed on my nail palette, I'm just going to trace over the drip nails. Then I cured for 30 seconds. So this is how the nails are looking and I think it looks really good. So now I'm applying some of my cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails. So this is the finished look guys let me know what you all think about this nail set I think it came out really good this is a really good Halloween nail set so let me know what you think about this nail set in the comments below thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in my next one bye guys